Welcome to all. In a continuation of the lecture from Department of Civil Engineering, Government Engineering College, Jalawar. Now we are going to present lecture five. In previous lectures, we cover almost estimation, quantity survey, types of estimate, data requirement for the estimation, terminologies. Now in this lecture, we will cover. that is principle of measurement so what is the principles of measurement so we divide all this thing in a very precise a uh, precise manner okay so principle of measurement is nothing but it is the cost of the construction work consist of five discrete but related element discrete means so all are different from each other okay they are not interconnection that they, they are not continuous series event okay so there may be uh, we can say that number 1 labor number 2 equipment number 3 material number 4 overhead and number 5 profit these five discrete but related element okay so the general purpose of the quantification is is to present these elements separately or jointly in a such a way that their individual or combined cost can be predicted and later confirmed are you getting this if we are predicting the cost and later we are confirm this in this connection help from the readily available and well established analysis of rate that is the pricing process that we discuss earlier Okay, schedule of rates for a large number of item. That is the standard data for a country or territory. So we divide this a uh, measurement, okay, and a different terminologies. They they are as following. Number one, accuracy. All work should be measured accurately as the data will permit. Estimator are always forced with the necessity. of having to make decision about the probable condition under which work will be done if the measurement can be put onto some firmest base possible then the approximation and judgment that inevitably have to be incorporated into the pricing process number 2 economy the estimator should strive to have a least number of words in description of the measures item the least number of extensions and totals every word is capable of correct or incorrect interpretation and every calculation may be correctly or incorrectly done therefore the less said to be calculated the better clear at the time of always pressing problem in estimate methodology that will be adopted and some standard number 3 is standard work should always be measured in accordance with some standard method that already predefined for the measurement either internally established by the individual company organization or externally recommended for use throughout the industry trade these are several following good reason to adopt such practices the work of the estimator will be made more simple more rapid and probably more dependable and reliable communication between the concerned personnel will be clarified in case of dispute there will be a precedent on which the estimator can rely in this regard there may be an is code is 12001974 part 1228 methods of measurement of building and civil engineering work published by the bis new delhi okay next is the conference one of the prime concern 
of any estimator is to develop confidence in his or her own work by adopting practices that will assist in avoiding estimating errors. Flexibility As a gen general rule, it is better to measure a few more items rather than a few less. Clear? It is general recommendation, not written in any, you know, uh, some manner, but it is a general recommendation. The time taken to do the actual measurement will be the same. Next is the simplicity. It is a good to design and construct building using standard and typical component and detail wherever possible. However, it is not always possible to stick such standard and occasionally some non-typical work will be encountered. Example, when measuring a drain pipe around a building, the work measured is if lines were straight and the quantity is stated in a linear meter measured along the center line of the drain. Additional work in, involved like bend, T-bend, huh? gully tape, etc. are calculated separately. Repetition. Work should be measured in a such a way that as to minimize the repetition of the work. For example, the number of floor area are found to have a common length but varying width. It is probable that the width can be total or summed and the sum is multiplied once a common length is produced required to the gross area. It is very simple. Style. There are a number of useful methods to be made under the general title style. First, est estimating work should be done using standard format, preferably printed sheet with a column marks in a vertical line should be used. Other related requirement are adequate space to lay out the sheet of the drawing on the desk as well as the space of the layout, pencil, scales, etc. Then what methodology that estimator is adopted for the measurement? There are uh, relatively three methods that uh, methodology that ad any estimator will adopt. There may be description of work, establishment of the dimension and calculation of the work. Description of the work is related with the specification. The estimator must review with a great care the proposed condition of the contract. The drawing, the specification for the work, various traits and all other information issued from the architect designer office otherwise it made available for the examination in connection with the project in question. If there may be some uh, you know inquiry after the construction these sheets are help us to evaluate the estimator. Establishment of the dimension every item of work consists of the three dimensions and a number. These four elements can be arranged in any configuration which is convenient to the estimate. For example, the dimension of the thickness of a concrete slab can be placed, the description column and the remaining two dimension of the length and width placed in two types, direct and derived, whenever it's possible to you. Then next is the calculation of work. Once all the dimension have been entered in a proper place, the measurement is now ready for the calculation. Now we discuss units of measurement. So these are the is following. Units of measurement are generally considered of volume area and length where volume is mass component measure in a volume basis that is in cubic meter. Area, area is thin shallow surface of any type of work is measured in a unit.
Next is length. Length is the linear measurement which consists of any quantity and express in a run meter as you clearly see in a table. Last is the number. Any piece of the material in a finished state are quantified as a number like door, window, etc. So you can see over here that is number one length. Length is expressed in a run meter. Characteristics of the item are as following work have a specific length and width. That is example pipe work. Second is area expressed in meter square. I, as I earlier discussed, example is plastering, painting, DPC work, DPC both vertical and horizontal. Volume, meter cube, variable dimension, footing, column, staircase. If the thickness of slab is not given, that also considered in this. Lump sum, that work is difficult to calculate, like earthwork, earthing of electrical, like that. Quantity number, like door, window, etc. Those are having some fixed value. Weight, that is still. Still are considered in this category. Time, labor. Labor can work in 8 hour per day. So that's why day per hour worker work will be charged. That is rule of measurement. As per the IS 1200 from section 1 to 28, they are having some rules for the measurement. Measurement shall be made for a finished item of work and description of each item shall be made include material, transport, labor, fabrication, etc. And booking of the other shall be sequence of the length, breadth, height, thickness, etc. Some type of work under the different condition and nature shall be measured separately under the, this item. Okay, we will discuss this. That is accuracy of the work. That is limits in the measurement and degree of accuracy. Generally, the degree of accuracy and calculation depend upon the rate of the item of the work. Item of the work with high rates shall be measured more accurately than the item with a lower rate. The dimension shall be taken nearest to 0 0.01 meter. Expect for thickness of slab which shall be measured nearest to 0 0.005 meter. Woodwork it is nearest to 0 0.002 meter. A structural steel work it is nearest to 0 0.001 meter. Thickness of the road work where the thickness is less than 200 mm is nearest 0 0.005 meter. Area shall be worked out to the nearest 0 0.01 square meter. For the steel work area excluding cross section measurement shall be worked out to the nearest 0 0.001 0 0 0 square meter. Cubic content shall be worked out to the nearest 0 0.01 cubic meter expect for the woodwork which shall be nearest to the 0 0.001 meter cube, which shall be work nearest to 1 kg. Now, for uh, different types of measurement that we are having, uh, we are having units and a different types of uh, measurement. Item, a specified unit and method. For site leveling, we are having lump sum. It takes into the consideration of site leveling, include the excavation fill till each 0 plus benchmark accordance with the design of the drawing. That you learn in the survey. What is the benchmark and what is all this thing? Excavation work expressed in a meter cube. They are having two methods footing area accordance with the uh, building area into depth of the excavation according to the drawing, external dimension of the building into depth of the footing. Fill also in meter cube comes with the concrete. Concrete for footing, column, staircase, length into width into thickness. DPC slab concrete with a fixed dimension or comes and expressed as a meter.
cube. Next, plastering work, plastering and painting, length into width. Then we will discuss other miscellaneous work like brick work, uh, sorry, block work, meter square, length into width of thickness of the specified block. Terrazzo, marble, ceramic works, meter square, length into width. Door, window, they are having some specified dimension. So that's why these are, they are expressed in a number. The exact dimension should be specified in a design of the drawing. Sometime carpentry work measured in a meter square or meter per length according with the described in the BOQ, bill of quantities. As we earlier discussed that for preparing any tender, BOQ is prepared earlier. Electrical and sanitary piece of work, piece, accessories. The dimension should be specified clearly, design, drawing, as per the socket, lamp, fluorescent, lighting, etc. Water closes, washing machine, sink, manhole pump, etc. Piping, that earlier discussed, meter run. Work with a special deal, lump sum. All details should be specified in a drawing. Now we will uh, stop over here. We will continue in the next lecture that is approximate estimate okay so you will uh, go through the various parameters of this and uh, discuss among your friends to get a clear understanding among this subject topic which is very helpful for you okay so we'll stop over here